Welcome to Olympus. Why, I'm floating on air. <laughs> I guess you could say hot air. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Kirby68 here with Mirage, of course. And yes, yes, yes. Looks like it's time for to read another part chapter of the comic, shall we? Uh, let's click. Chapter two: Dorados and Doradons. A sea of glass to drown the floor. An attack of violation. Mother, father. I can't really do a same impression. There is no response but the wind howling through the wound in my home. The windows have been shattered, bookshelves toppled, photographs disgraced. But no sign of my parents. I search through the den and find messages of hate a week's worth. Directed at my parents, blaming them for me. My part in bringing the games here for my curse. The curse. How long have my parents been suffering? Looks like something went down, amigo. Your detective skills are legendary. <laughs> Maybe you should call Mirage in. He's, he's also Batman, if you think about it. If you, if you get that reference, smash that like button. <laughs> Joking. Thanks! That is one time I find a stash of secrets behind a portrait of my pop study at. Uh, that was sarcasm being paired with you. Perhaps I am indeed cursed. Observation numero dos. Blood. Around the window frames, yes. This is blood from breaking in, not from combat. Unusual. Father built ways to protect the family, and few could move with the grace of mother. If they were attacked, they would have fought. Okay, so no fight. Maybe your folks go in on a high state vacation? Enough. It is your father I must speak to. Oh, oh, you think he's taking them? No, when going against Pop, he needs to know he's beat you. Trust me, if he took your folks, he'd be bragging. Your father has twisted every deal, gone back on every word he has spoken to me. His lies have sparked a fire that burns in Borealis and Cleo. He may not have taken my parents, but he is responsible for their suffering. Dorada Silver will find my parents and will find them unharmed. To average Outland event, uh, uh, wait. To the average Outlands denizen, he could be a hard man to get hold of. But to his son, you want to go mano a mano with pubs? Yeah, I'd watch that. I'll give the old man a call. Ah, looks like we're teaming up, amigo. Once rivals, now forced, forced to work together for greater, uh, cooler, good. Uh, uh no, please. Opian rock. Um, what? Obi and Octi ride again! Don't mean Obi and Octane ride again. Seer and Octane ride again. Oh no, Obi is Seer's name, isn't it? Obi Wan Kenobi? No, not the Jedi Master. <laughs> you must stop immediately. Yeah, you prefer to stock? Sock? Tane? Sh sock? What do you mean, sock? That's Seer plus Octane? How about. The team, the duo between Octane and Seer, who saved the world. Actually, no, 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 no. Mirage. He's saved the world. Let's get Mirage in here. Come on. Where is your father? My parents cannot wait no longer. Oh, everything is transitioning to that place, the Eternal Gardens. What was that? His father does not answer. And I am surprised that Dorado sends for us. It is a sinister limousine, available only to the Outland's most wealthy and devious creatures. Oh, my voice broke. <laughs> there was a time Octavio would never bask in his family affluence. Yet, little by little, the boy has become ensnared by his father. Maybe that's what happens when Lifeline ditched him. Shoom! Got quite a cool taxi, I can fly! <laughs> we land in front of Memorial Site on Cleo. I don't remember much of a memorial set when I said I've been to Eternal Gardens, I've destroyed everything there. No, the Syndicate Corps, eh? Are packing up drilling equipment they found what they're looking for. Oh, it's the, um, actually it's the Frontier Corps. Yep, mm hmm. Troubling, as the Corps were once a beacon of safety and hope for the Outlands, now a little more than Dorado's personal guard. Well, that's kind of what happens when they bought them out. Okay, this. This is new. 
I guess I ought to read those morning briefings his secretary sends me, huh? Your family dysfunction means little to me. I only care for the answers. Ha ha ha! Miss, it was so wonderful to see you, my boy! Subtle. There are few that can sneak up on me. I would be li delighted to answer you any questions you might have. No questions, only a demand. Find my parents. Your parents, of course, my boy, of course. Dorado nods slightly to one of the syndicate corps goons, and they move away with purpose. <laughs> Please, find Mr. Parents. We are terribly worried. Do not pretend to care. One moment, my boy. You must trust me. Uh, BT's told me that before. Trust you? I came only for your help, but receive only harm. The people blame me and take my rage out on my family! Ah. So you've come all this way to express the lack of gratitude. Gratitude? You've forgotten, my boy. Borealis and Cleo are symbiotic. Cleo is forgotten, yet with my involvement, it requires media attention and significant resources. I'm at Mirage a nice holiday home! Your schemes ignore Borealis's plight. Incorrect. Once Cleo stops deteriorating, Borealis's destruction and seismic events will end. Both worlds safe thanks to our fine work. Aren't you getting excited for what you wanted, mister? Octane leans back casually, enjoying this far too much. Soctane, absolutely not. I don't get what he means by that. They mean it should be called Sertain. I don't know. Ugh! Our deal uh, had the schemes come to Borealis, not Cleo. Cleo is too fragile. Many will suffer. Well, I don't see any civilians. I don't see any uh, people. I don't, I don't harm anyone there, so me and, uh, me and Mirage are fine. If some minor discomfort is what takes to sa save the moon, that is acceptable. What is that you say? Encourage others to see the beauty around us, even in destruction. Hmm. You do not know me as well as you think. I see the heart of all matters, and in you, I see none. Doesn't take heart to save the world, mister. It takes will if a little interview and a few rabble rousers are enough to rattle you. Perhaps what you lack is a backbone. It's not just rabble rousers, it is a storm, a riot, one that took my family. <laughs> and so the boy has a spine after all. Wonderful. Ah, and right on time. A dark floating limousine descends upon us, idling. It would seem the syndicate so soldier Dorado was sent away earlier has returned. Doors opened and... My parents are not inside. Careful, old man. I have no patience for you. Dorado indicates that I get in. I could not trust him less. But wear your tone. You so happen to be talking to the man. <clears throat> Beware your tone. You just happen to be talking to the man who knows exactly where to find your parents. Ew. Underwater? I can't breathe! I can't, I can't swim! I actually can't swim. Well, what do you think about that, Comic Mirage? Well, Seal and Octane seem like a good team, but no one can beat me because I'm the best legend in the game. Because you go got bamboozled. Me and my decoy, we are, me and my decoy is like just the best team, like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I was a comic, guys. 